Well, hello, Superstar. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to read your Bible. So first, you're going to open up the App Store and type in the YouVersion Bible app. It's going to be that first one that you see, and you're going to go ahead and download it. So once it downloads, it's going to open up like this. On the top, you will see today's verse of the day. You're going to see um, the story of the day and a guided prayer. This app is really great. This is what the verse of the day story tip typically looks like so basically they're going to give you a story that is Hello, my name is Brian Heasley, and then and the they also give you a uh, reflection question a devotional a prayer that goes along with it and also like this nice little picture to save on your phone um, and then they also repeat the verse for you um, and then they give you um like Bible plans that you can do. Um, these are my plans that I'm currently doing, but you can go on find plans and you can find plans um, based on your um, emotion. So you're going to just click on an emotion and they have tons of Bible plans for you to start. There's so many Bible plans. If you're new to the faith, um, especially for anxiety, they have so many things on anxiety. So basically what the plans look like is that they'll open up, they'll give you a devotional and scripture that follows the, the devotional. So this is the devotional and then they have like scriptures that follow along with it. Um, and that way you can see what the Bible says about what you're going through. Also, when you go back, um, you click the discover button you can also discover um, the past verses of the days and the videos that goes along with them you can also discover plans there you can also uh, churches near me if you just enable your location it'll find you a nearby church so i think that's a pretty cool feature so another cool thing that i like about this app is that you can discover um, bible verses through your emotions so if you just scroll all the way to the top you're going to see that there is search by topics and you can search by any topic or any emotion that you are feeling in the current moment. So let's say, for instance, I'm feeling stressed. I'll click on stress. They give you plans on stress. They give you Bible verses on stress. They give you videos on stress. They give you churches. Um, and there's just so much an abundance of resources out there to help you through your difficult season. OK. So when you actually click on the Bible on the bottom of the page, it's going to take you to where you last were. So on the top where it says Revelations 21, you're going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to give you all of the books of the Bible. And that's where you're going to be able to find every single book that is in the Bible. And it's going to let you categorize it by the traditional way, how it's written in the Bible, or you can do it alphabetically, which is how I kind of like it. It's easier for me to find what I'm looking for, um, but you can have it either way. So when you go ahead and you click on a book of the Bible, let's just say you click on Genesis, if your pastor says Genesis 1, that means you're going to be in Genesis chapter 1. If they say chapter 50, Genesis 50, you know you're going to be in chapter 50. So we're going to click on Genesis 1 for this example. And if you see all these little numbers, the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, the 5, those are the verses. So if he says Genesis 1, 5, you know you're going to start at Genesis 1 chapter one verse five where that little number five is okay so that's basically how you locate scripture another thing that i want to show you guys is where it says nlt up there click on that that's going to show you the different versions you can read so i'm going to these are my favorite ones the nlt nkjv the amp the message and the niv those are different versions of how you want to read the Bible. So basically, each version is going to give you a different way. It's going to say the same thing, but a different way of saying it. Um, so depending on which one is more easier for you to digest, read in that version. Normally, when I'm having trouble understanding in one way, if I click on another version, it helps me break it down even more. And if I'm having a little bit of a hard time, I'll watch one of the videos that they have on this app that explains it. Also, this Bible can read it to you so if you ever click that play button it will Chapter read it seven. for you ezra arrives it also gives you the option of changing the font the color and all that stuff and also if you want to highlight the um, bible you can click on it um, you can save the little images or you can click on one of those 
pretty colors up there and you can highlight the Bible. You can make bookmarks, you can compare notes and you can write a note in there. So it's super user friendly. It's super cool. It's super effective in getting you where you need to be in your faith. Um, and if you just, um, play around with the app a little bit, you'll become more accustomed to it. So a question I get asked often is where do I start? Do I have to go from Genesis all the way to Revelation cover to cover? And I would say no. I personally like to start in the Gospels. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are all the Gospels. They all teach about the ministry of Jesus, um, how he was born, um, his ministry, his death, his resurrection, and all of his teachings about how he healed people and all teaching you about the law and everything. Um, so I would start in the Gospels and then work your way around the Bible. But a uh, rule of thumb that I would say is do not move on until you understand the passage. And you know you understand the passage when you're able to apply it in your everyday life. So don't like feel like overwhelmed and you have to read cover to cover and you have to read a certain amount of pages or chapters and complete the Bible. The Bible will be meaningless unless you know how to apply what you've read to your everyday life. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is a great place to start for beginners and then work your way around. I hope this helped.